Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Ryan. And welcome to the spring edition of Pierce TV. Today we're in the Welcome Center at the Fort Stilcom campus. This month will feature photography and animation from our digital design students and some photos from our Raider baseball and fast pitch teams. We'll feature some dramatic readings from SLAM, Pierce College's literary arts magazine. We'll learn more of what our library has to offer with Christy Flynn from our Puyallup campus. From our Puyallup art department, we'll feature work from Ann Schuster's drawing and painting classes. First up is Sunny Young on some of the yoga and Zumba classes we offer here at Pierce College. together, pressing your hips back. Good, releasing. My name is Sunny Young, and I teach a variety of yoga and fitness programs for Pierce College in Puyallup. I have approximately 20 plus years in the fitness industry, but when I decided to become a teacher of yoga, I decided on interdisciplinary yoga. What I most enjoy about teaching interdisciplinary yoga is the diversity and the artistic freedom it allows. It combines hatha yoga with a variety of other yoga disciplines. These could include Iyengar yoga. Iyengar yoga emphasizes alignment. It could also include Ashtanga yoga, which is often referred to as power yoga. Uh, power yoga involves the generating of heat in the body, and this is done through rapidly repeating uh, a vigorous flow of yoga postures, and these are coordinated with the breath. Interdisciplinary yoga could also include movement inquiry from uh, Feldenkrais. Um, this is a developed system of awareness through movement. It might contain somatics. Uh, somatics is designed to awaken the natural intelligence of the nervous system. And this, of course, can pr produce a very profound effect uh, on postural alignment in the body. As a yoga instructor for Pierce College, I generally teach to mixed levels. So I could uh, include a variety of different age groups various different fitness levels. Um, with that said, I think it's very important as an instructor to offer options in, in when you're teaching to mixed levels. Um, and of course, always encouraging your students to use those options to help make their yoga safe and to make their yoga comfortable. <laughs> big hambo. Yoga is, is really big right now, and I think it's been growing for a while. It's different in a lot of ways than your average aerobic class or weight training class, and I think that's what attracts students to it. You, you make it as hard as you want to make it, obviously, but you're still getting a very good workout, and it, it's in an untraditional style. She really uh, tailors it to fit their, their needs and their, their uh, abilities. Breathe into it. Just staying here nice and passively, setting your intention for your practice today, whether it be vigorous or gentle. Remember, this is your yoga, your experience, and your practice. Being safe and being very mindful of your transitions. I would like to be able to teach the Zumba um, two different levels, offering a beginning level to help students gain confidence, get comfortable with the Latin movement, with that Latin sense of freedom too, letting go of those inhibitions, um, helps to prepare them to step up to the next level. And that's the second class I think would be very helpful to have a beginning and then to have an intermediate level class. I'd also love to offer that as a yoga class, uh, beginning yoga, like a yoga 101, moving to yoga 102. Um, once again, it's about getting your body acclimated to transitions, uh, having, uh, building confidence with those transitions, with those postures, with those dance steps, so that when you're ready, you can move to the next level, whether it be a level two, a level three, a level four. There's no perfect yoga, but there is a perfect you. It's really all about the journey, and the journey begins within. Here are some films from the Digital Design 3D Modeling and Animation class.
Okay, Mr. Bones, just take it from the beginning, please. One more time. Camera rolling. You know, being a skeleton isn't always easy. I mean, take the example of going to a bar. As a skeleton, that can be downright embarrassing. You're watching Pierce TV, a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. Next up are a series of images from students in Ann Schuster's art classes.
Looking for some online courses from our advising center, here's Monica Nutroni. Pierce College offers a wide variety of distance learning courses. These courses can be conducted from the comfort of your own home, usually in an online format, but some are videotapes or CD-ROM. Most of our distance learning course offerings are geared towards our Associate of Arts degree. These classes fill up quick, so if you're interested in this type of learning format, register early. For details, refer to our quarterly bulletin for more information or log on to our website, www.pierce.ctc.edu forward slash distance. But that's not all. There's another distance learning option that not many people are aware of. Through our military sites, Fort Lewis and McCord, Pierce College offers several distance learning courses in an online format that is open to everyone, including civilians. These courses are conducted as continuous entry, which means that you can register for these courses at any point in time, but you do have 10 weeks to complete them. It is highly recommended to order your textbooks online first, and once they arrive, then register for your online classes. For details, refer to the quarterly bulletin published by our military sites for more information, or log on to our website, www.pierce.ctc dot edu forward slash military. Here are some dramatic readings from SLAM, Pierce College's student literary arts magazine. They feature students in Patrick Doherty's drama class. Fat, juicy pickles totter on the side of her white porcelain plate, dripping brime into greasy golden chips she takes and shoves into her mouth, telling me between a crumbling crunching that she's so proud of me for being such a lovely grown-up woman who will never turn to the bottle the way she did to soak my dreams on many vacations when they don't come true the way she did and the way she couldn't stop and who won't ever raise my voice to my precious children who won't have to come home seeing me lying in a tub with my wrist broken leaking all over the floor till the years float by turning my blue eyes sad and roomy the ways hers are now and she's so proud that someone so smart and so beautiful could ever come from a dumb old woman like her. As she smiles through the chips, the fat pickle teeters off of her plate. This land is green, green, green. I am obsessed with the Isle of Emeralds. I danced a jig with Mickey Maloney and sang punk rock songs in their bars. And when I met James Brown, in a town called Dingle, that's right, and listen to repeated renditions of Hotel California, <laughs> longing for another country, America. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, where Bud is the king of beers. Never mind the Guinness, the Irish one imported too. Never seen so many shades of one color. And when I had a drink with morning soda bread, my mom called me an alcoholic. This is an idiot. Didn't she know soda bread is Irish? Oh, you, the most disheartening on matters of the heart. Bobs and veins against what I've caught. Hold me up, bring me down. I used to be a good swimmer, but now I seem to be going down for the third time without sands in sight. I close my eyes and picture the shores. Too far to swim for this fish. Merck was just a G. Not surprising, just like me. Thinking life's a game to civil society shame. Our situation's a joke to youth and common folk. No one not to care. All in love and war is fair. We're just joking, <laughs> clowning, taking nothing seriously. Don't know how it came to be, not knowing how to see. It being you and you and she against he and he and me. Now in the end of flying, what really blows my mind? I come too late to see the real in reality. You're watching Pierce TV, 
a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. Next up are a series of photographs from students in Doreen Paulson's Digital Photography and Adobe Photoshop class. Ever need a hand researching a project? If so, you might want to check with the librarian. Here from our Puyallup campus is Christy Flynn. Thanks for having me on Pierce TV to be able to talk about the library. So behind me is the Pierce College Puyallup Library, which is a beautiful space. It was built in 1996. It's a wonderful library. And if you've been at the Pierce College for Silicon Library, you'll see a very different space. That library was built over 30 years ago and is undergoing an extensive remodel, so they're just right in the middle of tons of construction. So, but even though the two libraries look very different on the outside, we are very much the same on the inside. The people at these two libraries have a tremendous amount of dedication, and we are what we call a teaching and learning library. So every time you walk into the Puyallup Library, or every time you walk into the Fort Silicon Library, the person that you talk to who's sitting at the reference desk, who is the reference librarian, doesn't matter who it is. It could be any one of us. That person is sitting there. That person has a master's degree in library and information science, and their sole purpose for sitting at that desk 
is to help you with your research, whatever your research needs might be. So it can be help with the class that you're in this quarter. It could be help getting started at Pierce College. That's what we're here to do, is we really want to help students in all of their research needs. Now, the trick is, we don't do the work for you. As in any class, the instructor doesn't do the work for you. We consider this whole place our classroom. So we would teach you how to do your research, and we'd love for you to come in. So the reference desk is the big desk at the middle of the library. The circulation desk at the front of the library, people there, both libraries, either place, even though one looks beautiful, the other's kind under construction still still very welcoming, helpful people who are there to help you get the books that you need, get the interlibrary loans that you need from other libraries, to get books from other campuses, from Puyallup, sent over to Fort Stillicum. And another thing you should know is that all of the community college libraries, we're part of the state system. So you, even when you graduate from Pierce College, you're welcome to use our library because it's funded by the state. And so it's always your library as long as you live in Pierce College or in the Washington State area. One of the other wonderful things about the Pierce College Library is the fact that you can do all of your research here. You can come in with an idea, you can sit down at a computer and you can start your research, but we also have the technology at our computer so that you can write the paper from one of our computers. And if you're the kind of person who likes to work from home, you can access all of our online databases from your house with your student ID number. So you can do all of that research at home in the middle of the night. If you're doing work from home, we provide email reference, we provide chat reference. So if you ever get stuck at home, there's a reference librarian available to help you when you're working when you're not on campus. And when I mentioned our databases that we have, we have databases that have whole books online that you can access. Thousands of books online, you can read an entire book online, you can print out the relevant parts for your paper. We have articles, research articles, we have popular magazines that you have online access to. So regardless of what kind of class you're in or what you're studying, we have all of those resources available to you at both the Puyallup and the Fort Silicon Library. Fabulous computers, all the things you need, and we can help you get access to those things from home. And starting in February, we will have chat reference 24-7. So even if you are doing your work at 3 in the morning, you'll be able to ask a reference question online and get it in an immediate conversation online with a librarian. So another thing I can tell you about the Pierce College Library is that 66% of the students at Pierce College have had an interaction with a reference librarian during their time at Pierce College. And of that 66% of the students, 85% of those students said that working with a reference librarian had a positive impact on their learning. So what that really means is that we work really closely with all of the faculty at Pierce College. So we work really closely with the English faculty, with the math faculty, with the sociology faculty, and find ways through the curriculum to, dis to say, this is the best way the library can help these students achieve the outcomes for that class, the best way that students can do all of the learning that they need and to be successful in that discipline. And so we teach classes for students on a daily and a weekly basis in our two library classrooms. And one of the statistics that we found from a recent student survey, we asked students, how many times have you interacted with a librarian? And they could answer daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. And this was on the big Pierce College survey that we do at the end of each year. And so we took those numbers and we correlated those numbers with student GPAs. And we found out that Students who spend more time working with a reference librarian have a higher GPA. So really, everybody should come in and work with a reference librarian. It can't hurt, and it would probably help. We leave you today with the schedule of our Raiders baseball and fast pitch teams. We'll be back in April with another new episode of Pierce TV. If you'd like to catch this episode again on the web, it'll be available at pierce.ctc.edu slash pierce tv. And don't forget, the new issue of SLAM comes out Thursday, May 6th.